Hi dear cricket fans, subscribers and friends for Cricket Happenings. This is your host Ram with your favourite show Cricket Happenings and we are picking up play here at the ICC Cricket World Cup match which is played at the Feroz Court Line in Delhi where Kenya uh, batting first made 198 of the 50 overs and Canada currently are 183 for 4. They just require another 16 runs with 6 wickets and 39 balls remaining. Tyson Gordon is at the crease, not out or not, he has just come in. The Canadian captain Ashish Bagai has been looking very impressive right now, not out on 56 of 94 balls with 5 fours. So that's the current situation. I'll be also giving you commentary in between if at all I get time. But right now, let's go into the match here. Kenya were the ones who actually won the toss and chose to bat. And on this pitch, which was uh, not very easy to bat on because the pitch was slow and the ball was also keeping low. And the Canadian bowlers accomplished themselves superbly here. Let me have a word for Henry Osinde. Uh, basically, Henry Osinde looks has a very good build of a fast bowler. He's very tall, good arms, forearms. And well, he, he did bowl very well today. Right areas, swung the ball well. I had lots of pace too and also in the death overs he started bowling the Yorkers absolutely aiming it at the base of the stumps and that's what really met his reward. If you see his figures he had 10 overs, 2 maidens, 26 runs and 4 wickets so he was the best bowler on show then. Harveed Badwan was also very impressive bowling some very good Yorkers and also bowling some very good back of the hand slower deliveries 10 overs, 141 runs and 2 wickets as I said the bowlers were the one who did everything for here definitely they had some assistance on the pitch there Pat Desai actually had his first game the left arm spinner 3 overs cost him 20 9 overs, 130 runs and 2 wickets this one Shima was very very impressive with the ball definitely failed with the bat but uh, on a brief while he just made 17 runs of 13 balls with 2 fours and 1 6 but with the ball he did well 9 overs, 130 runs and 2 wickets uh, Jimmy Hunts with 3 overs, 15 runs uh, Balaji Rao was very impressive. He continues to impress with his bowling. This uh, right arm leg spinner Balaji Rao who migrated from India to Canada. 10 overs no made in 1 for 36 and John Davison bowled 5 overs and he had a reward of 1 for 26. Meanwhile I take you down to the match here. As Otino is bowling the ball to Gordon. Gordon gets it on the leg side and glances it down to the fine leg for a single. So Kane in innings. Well, the Kenyan innings, there's not much to really talk about. Alma was the first, uh, in fact, Alma was the first time. Maurice Alma actually got an opportunity here with certain waters, but Maurice Alma, the wicketkeeper, uh, fluffed it as he was caught uh, by Dwan Bowl, Osinde for a duck. That was the first wicker. Serin Rockters was clean bowled by Osinde for two. Um, and uh, Colin Sobuya um, actually held the innings together uh, with some uh, very gritty, very good 31 of 35 balls, 3 fours and 1 6 in the effort. His brother David Obuya perished to Osinde once again. Osinde was the one who actually uh, um, uh, whipped the cream of the Kenyan batting there uh, by taking the wickets of Maurice Zoma, Seren Waters and also David Obuya. After that, Steve Ticolo uh, continues to unimpress in this World Cup. Uh, that has been a big problem for um, Kenya because his experience is great but he has not been uh, really delivering the goods at all and say Stuart Tekelo was LBW was his and Shima for 12 of 20 balls with 1-4 uh, and then the principal contributors for Kenya being uh, Tanmoy Mishra uh, who made a very very sedate 51 of 73 balls with 3-4s under the circumstances it was very important to play such a knock uh, the Jimmy Commander the, the uh, captain of the Kenyan team contributed 22 of 58 balls with 3-4s late in the order Thomas Odayo the experience was for the first time in this ICC Cricket World Cup as said Steve Ticolo and uh, Thomas Odoi were the experienced people in this and Thomas Odoi for the first time showed something with his bat. He actually plays in the Kenyan uh, team as an all-rounder and today he showed us why by playing a very good knock of 51 of 62 balls, 5 fours and 1 six which helped Kenya finish up with 198 on the board. Uh, Etino was out for 8 and Udiambo was out for 4 and Gochi was out for 1. So 198 all out Kenya as I said the pitch was slow and low, it definitely helped the ballers but still credit to the, Kenyan, the, the Canadian um, ballers today really bowled the heart out in, in between here. I take you down to the ground here. The score is um, still 186 for 4 and the 13 runs required uh, of um, uh, say it is um, 5 overs and 3 balls remaining, 5.3 overs. Meanwhile, Odiambo comes in and bowls through Tyson Gordon. Tyson Gordon taps it down but he can't get a single. Ashish Bagai not out 56, Tyson Gordon not out 3. So uh, just um, uh, just going back to the story here, as far as the Canadian innings were concerned today, for the first time in this World Cup, Rizwan Chima opened with Ravindu Gunashekara and well, Rizwan Chima uh, definitely uh, uh, flourished for a brief while but he was gone after uh, hitting his customary customarily quick 17 of just uh, 13 deliveries, 2 fours and 1 6 perish to Otino as Otino uh, bowled a ball where he saw Rizwan Chima trying to hike him out of the ground 
and his stumps were out of the ground there. Rizwan Chima bowled a team of 17. First wicket to go for Canada, 19 for 1. Zubin Sarkari joined Gunashekra. Gunashekra played some uh, beautiful, delightful drives uh, down the ground, but he perished as uh, Gochi did a beautiful stumping there. Uh, sorry, it was Alma, the wicketkeeper of Kenya, who did a beautiful stumping of the ball in the Gochi as uh, Gunashekra was stumped. Uh, Alma bowled Gochi for 18 of 27 balls with three fours. Zubin Sarkari uh, made 10 of one ball. He was run out by Kamande and three wickets were down for 48 for three and also uh, there was then after that 48 for three like Canada were really really struggling at that stage I would say but this partnership has really put uh, Canada on the victory path uh, as uh, it was uh, uh, Jimmy Hansra who was very very impressive in his 70 score of 70 of 99 balls he he actually stitched together a very good partnership uh, in fact took the score 132 runs were added uh, by uh, both Ashish Bagai, the captain of Canada, and Jimmy Hansra looked impressive. He also had some big hits. He hit uh, two glorious sixes and seven fours besides that, and he was very, very impressive. He was um, he was really looking very impressive, but unfortunately at 180, Odiambo claimed his wickets. Jimmy Hansra perished for 70 of 99 balls, seven fours and two sixes, and Tyson Gordon is right now at the crease. The score, well, there's one more wicket gone here as Tyson Gordon uh, is gone. Uh, Odiambo has clean bowled Tyson Gordon for three and well Canada is 186 for five but nothing to really worry 13 runs required of the next 31 balls and that's a wicket so Ashish Bhagat the captain is holding the fort for Canada here how, uh, not out on 56 of 94 balls with five fours and I don't think it should be um, any problem for Canada to actually uh, win this match here just 30, 13 runs required and uh, well they have five wickets uh, remaining and besides that as far as the bowling figures go for uh, uh, Kenya Thomas Odoya was impressive five overs one minute none for 18 uh, Elijah Otino I bowled eight overs no made in one for 36 Nehemiah Odiambo 9.4 overs no made in one for 41 uh, Gochi the off spinner bowled very well in fact he was the best among the lot here 10 overs two made in one for 26 completing his quota uh, Jimmy Commandy, the captain, 5 overs went for 25. Colin Subuya bowled 2 overs for 15. And Steve Ticolo was also impressive, sometimes also beating the bat and uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, getting uh, some deception uh, with his flight and the ball being a bit slow there. Steve Ticolo, 5 overs, 1 minute, none for 24. So, okay, so uh, just um, giving you the score here of the Ambo uh, has just uh, claimed the wicket of Gordon. Uh, bowled Tyson, actually, Tyson was um, trying to turn it around and on the, it was on the leg stump and he was uh, gone as he he tried to turn it he got a faint tickle and he was uh, his leg stump uh, was out of the ground so uh, that's gone so uh, so now the score is 186 for four in the 45th over uh, dear fans i don't think i'll be able to go the whole hog but in between john davison has come here and he has cracked the first delivery that he received from odiambo to the boundary so that makes the score 190. So I think I should be there for the victory for you, dear cricket fans. Let me uh, see what I can do. Uh, I hope this YouTube broadcast, uh, I'll be there as long as this YouTube broadcast is there. Well, John Davison smashed the first delivery from Odiambo for four and that takes the Canadian score to 190 for five right now. Just another nine runs required. And well, this was uh, beautifully struck by uh, Davison as he just uh, drove it through the covers for four the first ball and John Davison John Davison as you know has a great reputation as a big hitter of the ball and uh, he has not really uh, shown himself as far as um, this ICC Cricket World Cup is concerned uh, I know it is uh, not uh, it is not late uh, John Davison can uh, really really you know crack the ball a few meters here as uh, we are waiting here as um, Oh, the amp, uh, it is, um, uh, we are just waiting as the 45th over has just ended. So five overs to go and Canada require a measly nine runs of the next five overs. Uh, and Ashish Bagai has put Otino for a boundary here. So the score has moved by 194 four runs, 194 for five. Canada just require another five runs to win this match. It was Otino balling the first ball to Bagai. I think Canada have decided that uh, they are just going to uh, complete the victory as quickly as possible. And I think that's the right way to do it and not put uh, much pressure on yourself as this ball, uh, Otino, ball to Bagai and Bagai actually uh, creamed it for four. So we are waiting in the 46th over here. Uh, 46th over uh, being bowled by um, uh, Otino, Elijah Otino, 8.1 was no in one for 40. The next ball to Bagai, he won't be getting any runs there. Uh, he has to stay put at the crease. Uh, we are in the 46th over and Canada just require another five runs with five wickets remaining. 
And I think it's and Ashish Bagai has played very well. Let me have a word of Ashish Bagai here. Ashish Bagai has played superbly. He has really buckled down. He has played a real captain's knock here. Held the innings together with uh, Jimmy Hansra, who gave him tremendous support. And Ashish Bagai, I'm sure, is going to take Canada to victory. Meanwhile, we are waiting for Otino to run in and bowl the third delivery of the 40, 46th over. Uh, well, it's uh, Canada is getting just closer there. And well, that is bonus runs for Canada as Otino bowls a wide delivery and Bagai, well, uh, Bagai can't reach it. And well, another addition to the Canadian score here, 196 for five, right? No, 195 for five. Uh, my uh, my apologies there, 195 for five, the 46th over. Just a stroke away from victory. If, if it's a boundary, then Canada would be home. Well, uh, let me see whether uh, before this YouTube broadcast ends of cricket happenings, whether Ashish Bagai can actually stroke a boundary uh, and actually make, um, uh, I mean, uh, give, I mean, bring up the victory for Canada. As we are still waiting for the next ball to be delivered by Di Giortino. It will be an extra delivery here as he has bowled a wide. Uh, uh, just waiting to see uh, uh, whether he's coming in the bowl. Uh, please give me a moment here, dear fans. We are waiting. Um, and that's it for cricket happenings, uh, dear cricket fans. I don't think this YouTube broadcast will go any longer. Uh, this is your host Ram signing off. Thank you.